Hello, you join me in uh, the pedal loud garage with the Lotus Evora. Kick the 205 out, it's relegated to the driveway with a cover over it. More jobs. Brake discs on this car, a little bit old, a little bit rusty. So we're gonna get the wheels off. We're gonna give the wheels a good clean. We're gonna do them one at a time. Probably gonna take me ages because I haven't got much time. We'll put some new wheel bolts on, some new uh, wheel center caps. So we've got to jack the car up, get the wheel off, wire brush, sand, UHT, ultra high temp paint on the center. I'm not gonna spray it because I don't want to get over spray everywhere. I'm gonna hand paint it on. Let's see how we get on. First though, this is a better job that I like. It's less grubby. You may remember if you watched the last video, we put new black letters of Lotus on the back, which I'm really happy with. However, this, the Evora badge is on back order. The S I have, this is on back order. So I haven't got this yet, but I have got some gloss black spray paint. So I'm gonna whip this off, whip that off, go spray them, put them back on temporary, see what. Floss, kind of like this bit. The Evora letters are all connected. This is one emblem, so you wanna be careful. I'm, uh, it's pretty delicate. We live near woods, lots of bits. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Don't mind it ripping the floss. This is the safest way of doing it. If you try to pull it off any other way, you'd risk snapping it, I reckon. Just separate, there we go, look at that. It's come away. <gasps> oh, you can see how fragile that is. All right, we'll get that off, get it all cleaned up. Get it spray painted black. Just about to get the wheels off. Thought I'd show you, center cap being replaced. New wheel nuts, give it a bit rusty. I'm gonna try and paint that in the middle. Just give the disc a little bit of a quick clean up, clean the wheel, clean the caliper, the brake cleaner. Just about to get the wheels off. But the answer to the before, what I was gonna say, jacking point, handily, insert video, there's a blue sticker. Lotus give you a blue sticker. It's quite far in, just under there. You probably need a, a low profile jack to get under there. He's just loosening the bolts off and I'm gonna get it jacked up. Should also add quickly, I've always in one bolt. The reason for new bolts as well as smartness, because the old ones, oh, just make sure your handbrake's on. Rusty, rusty nuts. No one likes a rusty nut. Uh. But I'm taking the locking wheel nut off. The locking wheel nut key, of which there's only one, just looks very ruined. And I don't ever want to get into a point where I can't get it off. Several bad puns later. <laughs> Spline wheel bolt attachment on the Evora. Ah! It's rather frustrating being. And the bolt for the locking wheel nut is a different size from the wheel bolt one. I'm not just not a fan of locking wheel nuts. And you can see there's a crack on the outside there. I want to make sure the new nuts fit. They look, they look a little bit longer. They are a fraction longer. And we're off. Okay, I've taken the normal wheel nuts off. They have a cap that moves up and down like that, which my new ones, which arguably were, let's say, eBay cheapies, probably don't. So I'm wondering whether or not I clean these ones up and keep them. They look a bit more substantial. That is all so No, I don't like this. It should just fall away. But the heat obviously sometimes causes wheels to get a bit. It's moving. It's moving. Pull that lotus cap out. The main reasons for doing this was to give the wheels a good clean. When they're black, it's really hard to get them clean on the inside. And no, that's so keen. With the car being inside, I can't really get a jet wash in here to clean all around here, though, although that would be nice. But the next time we jet wash it, all that will get clean anyway. So to say, it looks okay. However, being brutally honest, shocks and springs look a little bit past their best. So the plan is just to tidy this area up. It's mainly to clean the wheel, actually, but we're going to tidy this area up. The brake discs. They do look a bit tired, if I'm honest, but not going to change them for now. I'm just going to do a little clean up job. They're quite rusted in here. These are vented. There's no lip on them, though. So I think there's loads of life left in them. I've got a little wire brush attachment on there. It's going to go in there. I can already see things, bits of rust coming off. Just rotate it. Just get that cleaned up. Then I'm going to put some wire brush around here a bit, sand, then some rust remover, and then we'll give this, try and give this uh, a bit of a paint. 
That's the plan anyway. Slight bit of rust protector going on, activating. So it looks less rusty. The hub here looks a lot cleaner with a bit of a sand. It almost looks acceptable, but I'm still gonna go over it with a thin coat of UHT. But before, UHT sounds like milk. Ultra high temperature paint. I'm gonna get brake cleaner on here. Lots and lots of brake cleaner. Let it all soak in and wipe it off. Get this caliper nice and clean. Get any of the crud off here that's left on. We get these brakes just just clean really cleaner yeah it says you're supposed to have a tray you add it with a brush wipe off with a cloth it's funny stuff brake cleaner probably going to run out of it quite quick oh my god and it smells because it evaporates doesn't it because it's brake cleaner you don't want it hanging around Gonna paint this. I'm not gonna paint this. This is a mating surface that probably, arguably, needs a bit more of a sand. In fact, stop. Let's do that first. A few moments later. I've seen people do this on YouTube with the disc and caliper in situ. They spray the high temperature paint on here and they mask all up. But I'm a bit like I'm doing this very quick and dirty, arguably cosmetic purposes because it sort of detracts from the look of the car, which is nice red and black wheels when you peer through and see the scruffy disc it looks a bit crap so i'm going to hand paint it using a brush and people might balk at that and go that's stupid you shouldn't do that as i probably do with lots of parts of this video but i don't really care it's purely a minor cosmetic exercise this is about cleaning these parts the wheels a little bit more thoroughly so they look a bit more pleasant putting this new center caps on if you can at the same time as doing that drop on a little bit of paint to neaten things up don't really see the harm here goes a little blob of paint on the brush and away we go it's good because you can rotate your surface keep the brush in the same place this takes between 30 and 60 minutes between coats to dry it's engine paint essentially it's engine block paint if you are putting it on your engine, great. If you're anywhere where there's friction, there's gonna be heat, braking area. Yeah, you have to wait 24 hours uh, for it to dry, which is fine for me, because this car's not going anywhere. My plan, if you're anything like me, don't do this whole YouTube thing full time. This is just a hobby side gig. I have the wherewithal to do it all of the time. Ah, oh, that'd be nice though, messing around with cars. That's retirement for me. Retirement and YouTube, earning money from videos. Whilst well, tinkering with cars, it's the dream really. But at the moment, between full-time work, family duties, don't find I have as much spare time or capacity as I would like. Well, I've never used high temperature paint before, but it seems to be going on all right. I don't want to overdo it. What I mean by that is I'm questioning whether the validity of putting on two coats or not, because Again, before, this looked horrible, and this is just about making things look a bit better. Not about changing brake discs, probably will be the next video. I have no problem with brakes. I used to do it a long, long time ago. I think the problem these days is is the hassle with bleeding them and the nature getting, all, getting to all the bleed screws and pumping the brake pedal and bleeding the system. In the space that I have to jack the car up, it's, it's just not an option really. Although I have a double garage, I have pillars either side. So it's effectively a very narrow single garage to work in. So the brake caliper came up pretty clean. So that's gonna look good. I washed the wheel, didn't video that bit. You know how to wash a wheel, presumably. And that came up better than I thought. Day two. Day two, front, left, near side. Done, tidied, rust proof, sanded, painted. I'm surprised how easy, once these wheels come off, how glossy they are, if you can tell. For the shine, I'm gonna put the new Lotus cap in. Come on. Oh, there we go. All right, yesterday, I was gonna replace these original wheel bolts with this sort of separate collar with these 
cheap 30 quid eBay but I just think the originals are better so what I did instead I might not put the locking wheel nut back on but I sprayed them black so this is an original this is a cheap eBay one and this is an original just spray black obviously haven't spread the sprayed the threads gloss black quick coat I de-rusted it sanded it wire brushed it yeah it looks pretty good four more on the go so I might replace only the locking wheel nut with one of the dodgy eBay wheel bolts nut it's a bolt isn't it you can get wheel nuts you can get wheel bolts these are wheel bolts that concludes this pedal out video I hope you enjoyed it working on the Lotus it's given me more of an emotional connection to it by investing my time and energy into it I've rattled through on day two, only had a few hours today to spare. Rattled through the front wheel because I kind of knew what I was doing from yesterday. And then just whipped the back wheel off and tied that up, got that cleaned up. It looked a lot better and got inside and cleaned all the wheel, which is really satisfying. I also brushed some of the dirt off inside the wheel arch. So overall, for a kind of quick and dirty ash bag, just by the way of completeness, we ended up spraying the Evora badge and putting it on with the S. So the S is the supplied one from Lotus. This is my silver one sprayed. It wasn't the best effort if you look too closely. It's got sticky on the back. It's gone on all right. So yeah the E's a bit blah. But for a temporary badge while we wait for the... I did wonder about cancelling the order but actually I'm not a hundred percent happy with that. We'll wait for the one from Lotus, but it'll do for now. Make this car look a little bit more presentable. I'm happy. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. If you like the Lotus, stay tuned and come back and we'll do more videos.